Hi, Ali from Ali Stitch Fingers here. Today, as promised, when I was on a chanda yesterday, I was I said I was going to do the tutorials. Um, that I like to do the tutorials to go with the projects that I do, um, just basically to hold your hand, especially with this one. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the sequin pencil case, and I've done this one. I'm not going to say I've designed it because basically it's just a basic pencil case, but I've done this one um, for beginners, but. A lot of beginners are scared of zips and really there is nothing to be scared of so I've done this tutorial showing you how to do a fully lined all enclosed um, pencil case and obviously if you got the kit from a chanda or from my website uh, alistitchfingers.co.uk um, then um, you'll get these fabrics as well this is the sequin fabric so you can see but as you um, brush the sequins one way or the other it doesn't actually show up very well on camera but there you've got the lovely um, silver side and if I brush it the opposite way it goes like a, a mother of pearl it's really weird because you can't actually see it on the camera but anyway you've seen this sort of stuff before so yeah it's giving you a, another look and it's a different fabric to work with but there's really no need to be um, worried about it so <coughs> to get started in the kit I've actually cut out majority of it for you so basically you're just trimming it so we've got two tabs there for the zipper tabs now what i want you to do for this is lay the zip face down onto the fabric and um, you can see here i've got about an inch at each end and that's what you want don't do it shorter than that because you need to stitch past it while you're missing these end pieces so first of all what i'm going to do is just fold that in half press it if you like um, I'm not going to I'm just going to finger press that and we're going to lay it level with the top of the zip I'm going to stitch across that just a quarter of an inch seam or even less than that if you want it's absolutely fine just take it slowly <clears throat> it will stitch across those um, nylon teeth but just take it a little bit slowly. So I've stitched all the way across there and then I'm going to flip the fabric up, bring it over the top and cover those stitches and then top stitch along there. And I'm going to do that on both sides. You can turn the um, stitch length up if you like uh, for the top stitch and it does look better with um, a bit bigger stitch. Again, just take it slowly. I do like to use a stiletto of some sort, and it's just basically an extra hand without getting your fingers into um, the machine, which we don't want. So there you can see we've just stitched all the way across. Um, if there is any noise, by the way, I have got my door wide open because it's beautiful weather here in uh, Barnsley at the moment. Um, and I am sewing, it's more or less our fresco because I've got a, quite a large door and it's absolutely beautiful. So I've tied my hair up and I'm going to have a lovely day sewing. So there you can see I've just done exactly the same. Bring that up and over and top stitch on there again. <clears throat> this will give you that lovely, neat look to your zips. Honestly, please don't be frightened of zips. You're doing straight stitches and that is all it is. So there we go. We've just top stitched along there. Right, I am going to just take my foot off. This is just a straight foot. And where did I put got it? Whew! Thought I'd uh, left it at the studio. Just put that clip on foot on. Move my needle to the left side and I have laid my fabric onto my wadding so that the um, the nap is running up and down the length of it so I know that I want to turn that round just make sure that the fabric's not moved you can actually um, give it a spray with some um, spray adhesive for, for fabric Lay the zip with the zip pull face down. Actually, put all your sequins 
to the correct orientation. So I'm laying all mine nice and flat onto the silver side. Lay the, the teeth of the zip flat onto the fabric. You can put a few clips on if you like. <clears throat> I don't tend to, but I have done this project mainly for beginners. So if you feel more confident, then obviously just give, uh, put a few clips in, sorry. And uh, that will just make it all stay nice and stable until you've got that stitched in place. Right, so that's what I'm gonna stitch. All these edges are level. The zip puller is facing the sequin fabric. And you can see I've got my gap at each end. So I'm going to um, reduce my stitch length because I am actually constructing. I don't want this to come undone. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start stitching at this end and stitch all the way across that zip. If you look at it, you can see there's a little line down the middle. That's what we're aiming for stitching upon. So I'm just going to take that clip off. I'm going to start stitching. I haven't got any special needle on or anything. I'm just holding the um, zipper cover down with my stiletto so it doesn't come up when I start stitching. And then I'm just going to stitch all the way across on that line that I told you about. Just keep all those edges nice and level. Sorry about my bracelet clanging. Take your time with it, There's, there is no rush. If obviously you're a bit more experienced, you can actually whiz these projects up in no time at all. Um, but for a beginner, you want to enjoy it. Stitch all the way across and then take that out at the other end. So there you can see we just stitched all the way across that. Now I'm going to lay that down flat. I'm going to take my lining and I'm going to lay this directly on top of where we've just stitched, lining up those edges here and here. If I turn that over, I can see where I stitched before. So I'm just going to stitch on that line. Again, clip if you want to. I'm just going to do it uh, without because I, I don't know, I just prefer uh, not using pins. I think it's because I worked in a sewing factory and you just did not use pins. The word time. So just get that going and then keep all those edges nice and lined up. And we're just going to stitch along that previous row of stitches. As most of you will know, if you buy my patterns, put that down or my uh, kits. I'm quite happy for you to make to sell afterwards. So uh, these are brilliant uh, gifts or presents um, or things to sell. So come out at the other side. You can see that's all enclosed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this lining up, put that to the back, hold it with the zip and I can just lay it down and just pull it all nice and flat. If these little bits of thread bother you, just give them a little snip off. It just can put you off. I'm also going to cut that level with the end of the zip. I forgot to do that before. Not that there's a lot uh, over, but just makes it look a bit neater. Right, so now what we're going to do is lay it down flat. You can just about see that on there. Bring up the sequin fabric and the wadding, keeping those edges together. And we're going to bring this up leave the lining flat and we're going to place that on top of that zip there so we're forming a little loop here and we've got all those edges together so I'll just show you again put the sequin fabric and the wadding together and bring that up to the zip there we go and then we're going to stitch as we did the first time very very simple project but one that you'll be really pleased with because your zips look so neat done this way again pin clip whatever you want to do now with the needles on the actual fabric i can let go a little bit if you haven't got a big machine like this one 
you may find it easier although this is a chunky zip so it's not bad i was going to say you may find it easier so when you get up to the zip pull just put your hand inside and move that zip pull out of the way so you can get past it but i found actually i'm just running off the end i'm going to put some i'm going to put some um clips on just so you can see me better so i'm just going to undo that what i've sewn because it's just moved the fabric so i've just i've just undone that right so lay it all down nice and flat again putting all those sequins towards the base bring that zip up and lay it on top so now make it easier for people to see ellie put some clips on and it'll stop those layers moving because there is three layers that we're stitching right so now you can see i can hold it as well so we're just stuck sewing along that line again keeping these edges all level does anybody else talk to themselves when they're sewing right, just take a clip off i love these wonder clips i think they're amazing all right so i'm just moving on to the um zip part now Again, take your time so I'm coming up to that zip pull so if I was on a smaller machine um, I'll actually get up to it and then I'll show you I'll I'd stitch up to where the zip pull was and then I can put my hand inside leave my needle down lift the foot and just move that zip pull past where I'm stitching just so that it doesn't move your foot out of the way and then just carry on Oops, nearly knocked one water over so just carry on right to the end take the clip off there we go you'll also find that by doing it this way your zip is getting two layers of stitches so it's going to make it really strong so I'm going to bring up the line inside now so we've got our piece like this and the one we've just sewn there we're going to put the line inside on top of that lining up all these edges here so again I'll, I'll just put some clips on just to make it easier then I can actually let go and show you so line up all those raw edges just three clips will be enough so now you can see we've got two little loops there so we've got the lining and then we've got the wadding and the sequin and that's where we've clipped we're going to turn it over so again we can see that row of stitches we've just done and we're going to sew straight over the top of that again so there's no curve stitching nothing at all to be worried about take the first one off Just take it steady there's the, you know like i said before it's not a race you want to enjoy it take the second one off straight across to the other side take it out so that's what it will look like now if you hold that by the lining you will see that it all folds nice and flat and basically to finish off we just need to stitch both side seams but if you look inside where those little zip end covers are we're wanting to stitch right at the side of that so you can leave your zipper foot on or you could just go over that bit with your zipper foot and then put your normal foot on and finish both the edges um, but we need to leave a turning gap so make sure you've got your zip open which mine is so that's okay I'm going to lay it all nice and flat put these seams together push that zip pull to the lining so just push that over to the lining there line those edges up and put a clip I'm going to stagger them so one seam's going that way and one seam's going that way pop a clip on there 
do the same at the other side push the little uh, zip pull to the lining line up those seams push one seam under and one seam over the top and pop a clip on if you were wanting to add a little one of those pulls to hold on to you would add it to this sequin seam here and um, basically you could add anything you could add um, some string some ribbon so you could just add that in there at this point now what i'm going to do is i'm going to stitch from this side here about a centimeter seam stitching right past all the way across we'll leave the turning gap on the other one so put that under your foot i'm starting about a centimeter down so it's not hard for me to get onto the fabric and then i'm going to reverse right to the edge that will hold it all in place and make it easier so that the fabric doesn't get sucked down into the machine i'm going to stitch all the way across just take it steady it's quite bulky because you've got all those um that bits of wadding in as well now we're going to go straight over but not catching that um zip end cover so take it slowly you've got quite a few seams here just help it past that little bit making sure you've just got a centimeter seam allowance you should have plenty of clearance there we go and then we can whiz down to the end of the lining and then again do a back tack at the end What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip the corner so that will just reduce bulk in there on both those edges there and there and now we're going to do the other side so I'm going to start at the sequin side and remembering just keep saying to yourself that you need to leave a turning gap so back tack to the center take the clip off steady over the central part where all the seams are and then I'm going to stitch about a centimeter or two uh, sorry an inch or two down give it a back tack take it out leave a good three to four inch gap back tack again and then stitch to the end and back tack trim that uh, sorry clip that corner and the wadding corner put your hand inside making sure you left that zip open and then we're going to put that uh, sorry pull everything through that turning gap this is the part I struggle with because I have got rather bad arthritis, even though I've had both my wrist joints replaced. I can't replace all my fingers, unfortunately, and my thumb. Right, so, let's just ease it through. maybe better off with some a chopstick or something but uh, like I say it's just my hands that are not the best some people call this birthing the bag but I find that a bit strange myself there we go it's coming out now there we go and what you're going to do is you're going to push it all to the inside of the pencil case it looks like I've missed a little bit on the zip. I can go back in and catch that. Right, what you need to do, looks like I've missed some on the side too, is poke all those corners out. And you can see here on the top, push that zip up and that gives you a really nice part to the end of your zip. See how nice and neat that is. Push the other side out at the 
bottom there, push the corner right in. And again, when you get to the top, push that up and you've got a lovely, neat edge on there. Pull the zip together and all you need to do here then is stitch the um, opening closed and you've got a beautiful pencil case that any sewer or little girl or anybody would be happy to uh, have this. You could even put it in your bathroom with all your little toiletries in and things. But I think that's a beautiful project to do. Okay, so thank you for now.